Hello everyone. So in this video we will quickly write the function because we have seen how to write a function in the last video and we will do it here and see whether this thing works or not. Okay. So I'm going to write a function with a return type and name and everything things. Okay, so first let's copy this. Now I'm going to paste it here. Okay. So in my function, what is going to be the return type? Okay. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm not going to return a value, a number or a string or anything. I'm just going to do some things. I'm going to say, okay, print this, print this, print this, and print this. That's all. That's all my function is going to do. So it's just going to do something. It's not going to return anything. So don't worry. We will have a look on the functions that return values as well in the previous, in the upcoming videos. So then you'll get a full picture. For the moment, as obviously we don't return anything. So if we don't return anything, what is the return type of the function? As I said you earlier, that is a void function, void. So you have to write void, void means nothing, kind of yes. It is, it, uh, the return type thing is not making sense here. We don't return anything. Okay. So you will say first, this function is a void function. Okay. Then let's give a name to the function. Okay. So I will give a name like display, display, message okay so the function means please display the message okay and then inside this brackets should I pass any parameters you know what the function parameter is right I explained in the last video okay logically talking we don't have to pass anything for this particular purpose okay because we just have to print those things so we don't get anything from the user yeah, yeah give me man and i want to do do it i will take this num value and do something no we know the fixed values of the messages fixed string characters so we can simply do it so what i will do is i'll copy this and paste it in the action place okay where action place okay so my message is now being pasted so what i do inside the function is i will have this serial printer and flow that's all uh, what I'm doing so I'm not doing anything like I'm not taking any parameters or doing any, any such things right I'm just doing few things so whatever I was doing in the white loop I have taken that that piece of code okay that piece of code from the white loop and I kept it in a separate place separate block okay so now the function writing scenario is finished okay now what I want to do is I want to call the function here so you know what calling a function is, right? I want to say, please do what is inside this function. So then the program will come and see and do all those things. That's all, right? So how to call a function is, I will copy this function name and paste it here. When you call a student or, or your son or dad or mom, you just call them by their name, right? So just calling the number, copy the number, name of the message and paste it here, name of the function but don't forget to have these two black brackets as well okay and the semicolon so remember this guys this is how we normally call function okay so or in other words you can think like we copy this name and also the brackets until from here to here together and put it here and the semicolon if the function is taking parameters okay then we have to mention those parameter values also here for example if the function is taking two, uh, let's say two numbers, okay, let's say num one. So this is not to write it, but just remember, and uh, and take the number values and uh, giving the addition, addition that means added some value as a return value, okay. Then we have to say here also we need like we need two uh, function parameters, number one and number two that are going to be added together, and here also we when we call the function. We have to pass the values that we want to be added. Okay, maybe 10 and 15. Okay, then it makes sense. See, we pass two numbers according to the function. Okay, just don't worry about that if you don't understand that. For the moment, remember we are doing a simple function that doesn't have any function parameters. It has no function parameters. It just do. It just does something. It is just going to do something. It is going to print these values. That's all. So then what we do is we just copy this from the name of the function and end of the brackets and put it here and add a semicolon. That means we are calling a function. 
calling the function. So what the program will do is it will come here. Uh, he has called something. What is this display message? And it will look inside the code where anywhere this name is there. Uh, the name is here. So then the program will look what is inside the name. Uh, it will see uh, he has asked to do these things. So the, 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 then the program will do all these things. Okay. That means instead of we are having these all four lines here and make a mess inside the void loop, we take it separately. Okay. Yeah. And we write it inside the function and we just call the function here. You understand this guy? Nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the whole code and see whether whether this thing works or not. Okay. If whatever I have taught up to you now is correct, then this printing should be happening, right? Undoubtedly. Okay. So I'll copy this and I'll go to my simulation environment. And I'll open the code. And uh, and also remember, also remember, since I call this function in the inside the void loop, so one time this function contents will be happening, right? All these follows, and again this will happen because void loop is going to be re repetitively running. So during the each and every during the each and every iteration of the void loop, this display message function will be called. That means we will keep printing this. Okay, that's obvious, right? So that should be the outcome now. If it is working, so I have already copied the code. I hope, uh, and I pasted also. So it's time to open the serial monitor a little bit bigger, bigger, and yes, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, are you good? Yes, and let's simulate and see what happens. Okay. Okay. What is this? Okay, now the first line is printed. See. How beautifully it's printed, right? Starting of the message, hello, end of the message. And it's being repeatedly printed because each and every void loop iteration is calling the is calling the function again and again. So whatever that should happen when all these four are inside directly inside the void loop, the same thing is happening now also. But when you read the code, it is very neat. Inside the void loop you call a method. And I co you call a function. So I I get then we get to the function and look into the function. Uh, these are the things that the function is supposed to do. Then those things are happening. You understand? So the particular piece of code, the particular chunk of code is brought inside a function and we call the function. Okay. That's working very nice, right? So this is very beautiful, isn't it, guys? So now what we have done is we have seen how to write a function. Just to summarize up, how to write a function, how to call it. How to call the function and also uh, and I mean uh, we couldn't forget we shouldn't forget the function is a void type function that means it doesn't return anything and also it doesn't take any parameters a function without no para with no parameters without the parameters so we have tried a function with these features okay so we will proceed further in, in next videos and we will also study functions with the non void okay so that means with the return type integer or something a function with the return type and also functions that takes parameters and how they, they play around with the parameters so that kind of function so you'll see in the upcoming video and i will wind up this video with this and i hope you understood that functions kind of things are working properly as earlier and i will catch you up in the next video guys until then stay safe